All right, maybe you need to pick up a last minute Halloween costume. The weather will cooperate nice and dry if you're doing those last minute errands and dry for Halloween trick or treating as well. Let's take a look at what I'm tracking. And while we do that, I'm going to try out a Halloween costume. I'm not going to leave this on the whole time. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's see. Uh, let's see if this works for Halloween. See, the idea is that I'm the necklace weatherman. It kind of works. A little transparency right there. Unfortunately, my uh, tie that I brought, not quite green enough to create that completely transparent look. There we go. That would kind of work, right? Doing the weather like this. Anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. I'm going to uh, get rid of this before I get in trouble. All right, let's take a look at the uh, changes on the way for the next several days. Sunrise, that will be a big change and actually a nice change, making it a little easier to get up in the morning. Today's sunrise, 7.16 in the morning. Tomorrow, 6.18. So, okay, we like that. A little uh, extra daylight in the morning, but... Of course, there's a trade off. Sunset will become earlier as well. So today's sunset 542 this evening or tomorrow, I should say, down to 441. And that's because you need to remember to set the clocks back tonight. And that's why we have that big change in the sunset and the sunrise time on the way. Taking a look at the eyewitness news threat tracker, we leave you in the low category for the next several days. And from our city cam, you can see really far down Narragansett Bay visibility in good shape. And our temperatures are chilly. Make sure you grab the jacket as you're heading out this morning. Providence at 33, Gloucester 30, Westerly at 33 degrees, and New Bedford at 29. Now, there's not much of a wind out there right now. It's completely calm in New Bedford and in Providence. Same thing with calm conditions. And overall, today will not be that breezy. Of course, when we have the calm conditions in the morning, it takes a while for the air to kind of mix itself out and bring in those slightly milder temperatures. But high pressure is in control. That means no precipitation in the forecast today and the mostly sunny skies. We'll get a few clouds from time to time throughout the afternoon. In fact, our future cast does a great job detailing that. The white, just some clouds, no precipitation to worry about. Now, there may be a few showers across the south coast late tonight. That would be after midnight through tomorrow morning. And I can't rule out a spotty shower anywhere from late tomorrow morning into the afternoon. But most of the day is rain free and many of us will not see any rain at all. So it's a dry weekend overall. Temperatures by noontime right around the 50 degree mark. So that's something important to emphasize that it's going to take a while to get out of the 40s. In fact, the entire morning to get out of the 40s by mid afternoon, low to mid 50s from Smithfield down to Johnson and Providence, upper 40s to around 50 with some slight winds coming in out of the southwest. And then notice what happens tomorrow. Temperatures actually recover close to the 60s, despite the fact that there will be more clouds around tomorrow. So here is that trick or treating forecast. Not too spooky, right? 51 degrees around 5 p.m., 47 at 8 p.m. So a little on the cool side, but no frigid weather on the way for this Halloween night. Should uh, be nice for picking up that candy. And then as we go into tomorrow, notice there's a trade off. 62, it's milder. We do get more clouds and sun around 60 at around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here comes that mild trend. You can see on Tuesday up to 65 degrees, mid to upper 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. Some locations on Thursday could get close to the low 70s. TJ Del Santo, he's in this evening. He'll be looking at more data to see if we actually need to adjust those numbers to make them warmer for the end of the week. In the meantime, you can always get more details over on our website at WPRI.com. Now, Eyewitness Sports with Yanni Carrasco.